बिसमीम् असलकुम वीवर्स आई एम डॉक्टर मोहम्मद सलीम इकबाल डिप्टी कंट्रोलर ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन फैसलाबाद मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी फैसलाबाद असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ सर्जरी सर्टिफाइड इन मेडिकल टीचिंग फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ हेल्थ साइंसेज लाहौर रिसर्च एंड क्लिनिकल कोआर्डीटर टू वाइस चांसलर फैसलाबाद मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी फैसलाबाद स्पोक्स मैन फैसलाबाद मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी फैसलाबाद टुडे आई एम हेयर विद एन अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक बट बिफोर आई प्रोसीड टू टू डेज टॉपिक आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन नॉट मिस एनी वीडियो फ्रॉम माई चैनल एक्स रेज मेड इजी बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग of x-rays is very much important for proper diagnosis and management of patient so today i have selected this important topic for discussion in order to recognize abnormality you need to know what are normal x-rays then you should follow a systematic approach always interpret x-ray in conjunction with clinical findings always compare with previous x-ray if available to assess for changes as the x-rays passes through over body some are absorbed completely giving white appearance on film some are not absorbed at all giving black appearance on x-ray film and some are absorbed partially giving gray appearance on x-ray film the hierarchy of relative densities from least dense mean black to most dense that is white is as gas that is air is jet black then fat as in connective tissue then water as in muscles then bone then metal metal is most dense and shows white appearance on x rays a routine pattern of plain x ray film reporting can be ensured for proper scrutiny the steps for proper reportings are listed below on first number we have to give patient identification details then second number date that is pre read date then in patient department or out patient department number then marking of sides that is it is right side or left side then x ray views either it is pa view either it is ap view either it is lateral view and so on then penetration of x rays that is it is under penetrated or over penetrated then in case of chest x ray we have to label either it is inspiratory film or expiratory film usually x ray chests are taken in inspiratory phase and with good inspiration 6 anterior ribs are visible and 10 posterior ribs are visible then what is rotation of x ray that either it is centralized or rotated for example thoracic spine is aligned or not then angulation quality control and then we have to comment on soft tissues and bony structures we have to pick any abnormalities in these domains commonly an x-ray is found in surgical department that is air under diaphragm this is x-ray film showing air under both diaphragms this is straight x-ray of chest along with upper part of abdomen showing free gas under both domes of diaphragm and there is ground glass appearance in the abdomen now 
आई विल डिस्कस ब्रीफली अबाउट काजेज ऑफ एयर अंडर डायफ्राम मोस्ट कॉमन काज इज परफोरेशन ऑफ हालो विजरा कंटेनिंग गैस एज इन पेप्टिक अल्सर परफोरेशन इन परफोरेशन ऑफ स्टमक ड्यू टू सम मलिग्नेटरी एंड सो ऑन सेकेंड काज इज ब्लड ट्रामा एबडोमन काजिंग परफोरेशन और ट्रांसक्शन ऑफ स्मॉल और लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन देन पेन्यूट्रेटिंग इंजरी ऑफ एबडोमन काजिंग पेरिटोनियल ब्रीच विद और विदाउट अंडरलाइंग विजरल इंजरी बुलेट इंजरी ऑफ एबडोमन विद पेरिटोनियल पेन्यूट्रेशन विद और विदाउट अंडरलाइंग हॉलोविस्कस इंजरी फॉलोइंग लेप्रोस्कोपिक प्रोसीजर और फॉलोइंग एबडोमिनल सर्जरी नेक्स्ट इज फॉलोइंग ट्यूबल इंसफ्लेशन टेस्ट फॉर ट्यूबल पिटेंसी नेक्स्ट काज इज फॉलोइंग यूट्राइन परफोरेशन आफ्टर सेप्टिक इंड्यूस अबॉर्शन नेक्स्ट लेस कॉमन काज इज इंट्रा एबडोमिनल इन्फेक्शन बाय गैस प्रोड्यूसिंग ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट चिला डिटीज सेंड्रोम इट इज a clinical condition in which there is anterior interposition of colon to liver reaching right hemidiaphragm and it is associated with upper abdominal pain it is one of the causes of pseudo pneumoperitoneum now i will briefly discuss about commonly asked question associated with air under diaphragm why not gas under diaphragm in appendicular perforation answer to this question is appendicular perforation is usually caused by obstructive type of appendicitis and there is very little air in the appendicular lumen so no gas under diaphragm will be seen in this case but remember if perforation of appendix is near base and it involves cecal wall then it will give air under diaphragm on both sides next question is does free gas under diaphragm is seen in all cases of peptic ulcer perforation the answer is no only 60 to 70% of the cases may have air under diaphragm on x-ray in rest of the cases it will not be found either because the size of perforation is very small or it is sealed earlier by omentum and gas is reabsorbed what is the reason of ground glass appearance in x-rays ground glass appearance in x-ray means there is a free fluid in peritoneal cavity now an x-ray of intestinal obstruction this x-ray is showing multiple air fluid levels most of distended loops are valvuli conventis that is stock of coin appearance suggesting that jejunal loops are distended this appearance is suggestive of acute small bowel obstruction few questions about x-rays in intestinal obstruction how we will say that the loops are jejunal loops jejunal loops will be located in central position in step ladder fashion and high tightly packed valvuli conventis also called as stock of queen appearance the next question is what are characteristics of gas filled ileal loops ileal loops are central step ladder pattern 
and they are called as characterless what are characteristics of colonic gas shadows colonic gas shadows are located peripherally and they show hostrations which x-ray is important for evaluation of patient with acute intestinal obstruction x-ray abdomen supine is needed for evaluation of level of intestinal obstruction and severity of intestinal obstruction next question is how many fluid levels in abdominal x-ray may be regarded as normal in an adult person two air fluid levels one in duodenum and second in the ileum may be considered as normal in small child two to four levels in small gut are considered as normal no valvulus x-ray abdomen with upper part of pelvis taken in supine posture and it is showing hugely distended large gut loop all distended gut loops are seen converging towards pelvis grossly dilated loops of large bowel has coffee bean shape suggesting large bowel obstruction due to sigmoid valvulus and this description is evident in x-ray then x-rays in renal stone this is plain x-ray of abdomen with upper part of pelvis showing radio opaque shadow in right para vertebral region below 12th rib and it is seen in renal stones what percentage of gallstone and kidney stones are radio opaque about 10% gallstones are radio opaque and 90% kidney stones are radio opaque what is differential diagnosis of a radio opaque shadow in this region as shown in x-ray it can be a kidney stone gall stone pancreatic alveoli foreign body fecolith flebolith calcified lymph node calcified renal tuberculosis calcified adrenal gland chip fracture of transverse process of vertebra or calcification of costal cartilage what is the method of confirmation of diagnosis number 1 take a lateral view x-ray gall stone lies anterior to vertebral body kidney stones lie posterior to vertebral body or overlaps the vertebral body number second method to differentiate is ultrasonography canon ball secondaries x-rays shown in slide is a plain x-ray chest pa view showing normal bony cage diaphragm domes are normal there are multiple rounded opacities in both lung fields suggestive of canon ball metastasis in both lungs the photograph in lower segment shown is for better understanding of canon ball secondaries causes of canon ball shadows in chest x-rays this may be due to metastasis benign lesion causing this appearance in chest x-rays are fungal infection for example histoplasmosis aspergillosis coccidiomycosis 
parasitic infections for example filarial infection hereditary disease sarcoidosis vaginal granulomatosis and rheumatoid nodules tension pneumothorax normally there are visible markings throughout the lungs due to pulmonary arteries and veins continuing all the way to chest wall both lungs should be scanned starting at apices and working downwards comparing the left and right lung field at the same level this x-ray shows right sided tension pneumothorax as evident in this picture there is no marking visible on right side while on the left side normal markings are visible then an x-ray showing hemothorax on right side of chest and there is an other x-ray in this slide showing bladder stones gallstones on ultrasonogram ultrasound abdomen is widely used to diagnose gallstone disease ultrasound is usually obtained in fasting condition because gallbladder is in non contracted phase in fasting this image shows highly reflective ecogenic focus within gallbladder lumen and with a prominent posterior accosting shadowing t tube cholangiogram this is t tube cholangiogram t tube is in situ common bile duct hepatic duct and the intrahepatic biliary radicals are dilated dye is seen going into duodenum suggesting no obstruction in the terminal bile duct t tube cholangiogram is usually obtained 10 to 14 days after surgery on biliary tract barium study of esophagus this is barium swallow x ray of esophagus showing an irregular filling defect at mid esophagus there is dilatation of proximal esophagus proximal to site of narrowing this appearance is suggestive of carcinoma of esophagus first then double contrast barium anema in ca colon double contrast barium anema in ca colon shows apical core sign and this is the descending colon of large gut this apical core sign is pathognomonic of ca colon i am very thankful for your valuable time if you have any query about the topic uh, you can contact me on my uh, links shared in description stay in touch stay blessed take care never miss a video from my channel and subscribe my channel